What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Hum Baby Baseball Channel, and today we're going to get back into the San Francisco Giants for my second spring training update, and I also want to say happy St. Patrick's Day and possibly happy Stimmy Day, so uh, hopefully that helps you all out. I know that there's some debate on that whole bill and everything, but at least hopefully it helps you out financially if you need it. And I'm hoping that everyone out there is doing well and having a great day. But today, we are going to get into the San Francisco Giants. Unfortunately, some bad news. Buster Posey missed yesterday's game due to some hip tightness in the right hip. Normally, I would be like, so what? No big deal. A little bit of hip tightness. Took a little day off. Well, not a big deal at all. But that is the same hip that he had surgery on that he supposedly completely recovered from. He's getting under the ball now. He's feeling great. Fantastic. Fantastic. Better than ever, just like a newborn. What's going on? So that is a little bit concerning because I did not want to hear about that. I thought by now, took a whole year off last year, and then he's had a whole off season. I thought that this was not going to be a problem at all. So that's a little bit concerning. But then again, you know, you know, it's just precautionary, and he's supposedly going to be just fine. Another unfortunate. I was going to say injury. I don't know if it's an injury, but there was a procedure done. So obviously something was wrong. And that's Alex Wood had to have a procedure on his spine, on his lower back. And it didn't sound very good. They acted like that's not a big deal. He might even be ready by opening day. But I'm telling you now, I highly doubt it. I mean, that sounds pretty serious. And you got to ramp back up. Opening day is coming up very soon. I don't see him being ready. I definitely see that spot going to Logan Webb, which... Is not terrible because Logan Webb has been lighting it up. Logan Webb so far in three spring training starts, he has thrown six shutout innings, 10 strikeouts, while allowing just two hits and just one single walk. If that's any, indi any indication of what we're going to get from Logan Webb, he might go ahead and go out there and just grab a rotation spot and hang on to it all season. Now, I know he's not going to be great every outing, but, damn, he has been looking great. It's a very small sample, as is all of these samples. But we know that it's spring training. It's what we have to go on right now. And he has looked great. Not that Wood has looked bad, you know, but he's not going to be ready. I mean, he just had a procedure on his spine. Uh, doesn't seem like he's going to be ready by opening day, in my opinion. I could be wrong, but hopefully he'll be back, you know, sooner rather than later. And, you know, if Webb is pitching great, he'll find another way into that rotation. I'm sure somebody is going to be struggling. Not hoping for that. I'm just assuming, you know, if all five are doing great and Wood has no place to go, well, that'd be even greater. Uh, we'll, we'll figure it out. But uh, that's the problem you want to have. Too many good players, but uh, we'll see. Jumping into some other performances, Reyes Moronta has finally made an appearance. He's actually made a couple, and he has gotten everyone out. His slider looks great, has great bite on it. His velocity is down a little bit, although his second appearance, it seemed to jump up. So I think he's ramping up. I don't know if it's going to get up to the you know high 90s where you know it's usually been, but you know he had just had major surgery. He is still you know just coming off of it now and coming back to pitch again. So, you know, I have have great expectations that Reyes, Reyes Morota is going to be fantastic this year. Even if he doesn't get that fastball back to 98, I think mid-90s, he is going to be fine. But yes, we would definitely prefer that high 90s heat to go along with that slider so that he could be, you know, I mean, just a lights out reliever, possibly a closer for us. A guy you might have forgot about is Rico Garcia. He is still around. He was brought back on a minor league deal. He has been looking fantastic. He's hitting high 90s. You want high 90s? Check out Rico Garcia. He's hitting 98 on the gun, and he is looking great in spring training. And I don't think he's going to make the team. He will be in AAA, and the Giants will go ahead and bring him up if he demands that. Jake McGee, very nice pickup from the Dodgers. Lefty, he has five strikeouts and in four innings, hasn't given up a run. That's what we want to see from Jake McGee. And Shun Yamaguchi has looked great. And this was, you know, this was a signing that made headlines when the Blue Jays grabbed him from Japan last offseason. It was a big deal. I made a video on it. I was like, dude, they got Shun Yamaguchi. This, guy, this guy's legit Japanese pitcher, and uh, he was just awful for them and, you know, got let go and ended up with the Giants on a minor league deal and just got no headlines like nobody cared. But if, you, if Yamaguchi can do for the Giants what the Blue Jays expected him to do for them last season, 
we might have somebody here as well. So don't take your eyes off of Yamaguchi. He's probably going to be a Sacramento River Cat, but he will get promoted as well if he pitches well there. And then you have Jose Alvarez, Caleb Berger, and Nick Tropiano have all looked fantastic. All three got a very good shot to be on this team. So I'm really excited about the pitching. I mean, there are some guys with inflated ERAs. Johnny Cueto is one. But you know what? I mean, he's going to be in the rotation, and it's Johnny Cueto. We just have to hope for the best for some of these guys. But as far as all the main contributors, the guys that we know are going to be in the pen, they have all pitched well so far, and most of the starters have pitched well. And Cueto has looked good at times. So overall, I'm pretty happy about the pitching staff. If we jump over to the offense, well, there's two guys who have absolutely lit up Arizona, and I'm talking about, yes, Donovan Solano, of course, no surprise, but also Evan Longoria. And Longo is 7 for 13 with three bombs. I mean, yes, take it with a little bit of grain of salt. 162 is a long season. This is just spring training, and it's just 13 at-bats. About three bombs and 13 at-bats. That gets me excited that maybe, just maybe, Evan Longoria has another big year left in that bat. Remember, he used to be a 30-plus home run guy. He hit 36 in 2016. Since then, since coming to the Giants, he's been around a 20 home run guy. What's going on? We want to see 30-plus. Let's go. And maybe he can do it if this is any indication. But also Donovan Solano. If you are not sold on Donovan Solano, I just I don't know what game you're watching because he has torn it up for multiple years straight. Going back to AAA in 2018, he hit around 320. 2019, he gets promoted. He hits around 330 in the minor leagues again. Gets promoted, hits 330 with the with the Giants. Every spring training he rakes, hits over 400 or 500. Then last year again, hits 320 something. The dude is a 320, 330 hitter, period. And so far this spring training in 19 at bats, he has a grand total of zero strikeouts and 10 hits. For a very clean batting average of 526. The dude is awesome. And he should have got what he was asking for and should have never had to go to arbitration. But it is a business after all. But I'm saying if I was running the team, oh yeah, I'm giving him what he asked for, you know, within reason because this dude has been amazing. But you know, Evan Longoria is not the only guy to hit three home runs already. Elliot Ramos has been absolutely amazing. And I'm so excited to see what this dude can do at the big league level. Elliot Ramos has three home runs, a 417 batting average, and 24 at-bats. He pretty much deserves to be on that opening day roster. Unfortunately, it's not going to happen. But he deserves it. He deserves it. And I think if he gets a promotion soon enough and you know hits himself into that lineup, I got rookie of the year aspirations for this kid. I really do. I'm not predicting it, but I'm saying I, I'm hoping for that, and I think it's a possibility. This dude is legit. I'm so excited. Remember, Elliot Ramos was our was our big name guy. Then we started getting other guys like Hunter Bishop and Joey Bart and Patrick, and we got all these great prospects. We kind of you know forget Elliot Ramos was the guy. This was the man who was going to bring power to that outfield, and finally get a, you know we're finally going to have a homegrown outfielder who can freaking rake, and it's Elliot Ramos. This dude is legit. Now, obviously, he could get promoted and struggle, kind of like Bart did last year. But, I mean, I, I'm not going to give up on this guy for a while. You know, He's going to have to prove that he's not any good before I believe it because everything I see tells me this guy is the real deal, Holy Field. Austin Slade has been swinging a good bat. Joey Bart, speaking to him, he has been swinging a good bat. He's looking fantastic. He's going to start the year in the minors, but uh, he's looking good. Jason Vossler. Jason Vossler would be making this team if the Giants did not sign Tommy LaStella. I'm not criticizing that signing. I mean, I wasn't over, like, through the roof about it because I was happy with Solano in our infield and Vossler. And so I was just like, okay, I, I don't want this guy because he's got a bigger contract to just take the job of someone else, even though that someone else is better, you know. But because this guy has the big contract and he's the bigger name, he gets in there. I didn't want that situation to happen. So that's a little iffy on the move, but we'll see what happens. Because right now, Jason Vossler earns the spot much more so than Listella, who has not done much in spring training. But because Listella is Listella, he is a lock. So Vossler's going to, going to the minors, I would assume. I would assume. So we'll see what happens there. But Vossler has been swinging a hot bat. 
And pretty much everyone's been at least decent. I mean, we're around 250 or better for most of these guys. They are, are swinging a bat. Duggar is swinging a decent bat. I mean, everyone's looking pretty good. Only a couple of exceptions. You know, uh, you got Dickerson. Dickerson's off to a slow start, but, you know, he's going to be in there. And you got uh, Jalen Davis, who's already, you know, not going to make the team, but he's gotten off to a, a slow start. Will Wilson is one guy who hasn't really looked good at all. Wilson seems to strike out a lot. He's not getting many hits. And Will Wilson, a guy that we got from the Angels, it was a pretty exciting move to get one of their, you know, top prospects. And he just hasn't really uh, earned his way to the big leagues yet. But we'll see. You know, Will Wilson, we'll, we'll keep an eye on him in the minor leagues. He's obviously got some tools and some talent to be such a high prospect for the Angels. And we'll see. So, Will Wilson has not looked great, but other than that, you got to be thrilled about this spring training. I know I am. Wins and losses, I'm not worried about. I don't even know their record. I don't think it's important. I know they've lost some and they've won some, but at the end of the day, these individual performances, I'm really excited about. I'm seeing great things from the Giants, so I cannot wait to see what they can do when it, when it comes to the real deal. And the Giants even decided to sign someone else to a contract. Amy G. Amy G was let go by uh, the Sports Bay Area, uh, NBC Sports Bay Area, and uh, she's you know she's been a staple at San Francisco Giants games, you know appearing on television as you know right there with Kook and Kipe down on the field, but um, unfortunately they decided not to renew her contract, so the Giants gave her a contract. Uh, she's not gonna have a little bit of a different position, but I'm definitely happy for Amy G because you know, I'm just so used to her. A lot some people don't care for her, but I've I've always liked her, so I'm so happy that she'll still be in the Giants organization um, now getting a paycheck not from NBC but from the San Francisco Giants so that is sick so happy about that and uh, overall it's been a fun spring training and again happy St. Patrick's Day everyone I hope you're all doing well let me know what you think of the San Francisco Giants are you excited are you not excited and uh, have a fantastic day guys hit the subscribe button especially if you're a Giants fan hit the thumbs up button especially if you're a Giants fan and share this video out there especially if you're a Giants fan, and I'll talk to you next time. See ya! Thank you so much for checking out that video. This is Eric, and if you're a fan of Hum Baby Baseball, please check out our store at humbabybaseball.com slash store. We have t-shirts, we have hoodies, we have hats, and we have much more on the way, so you can check out everything we have right there, including the Umpire Strikes Back, one of our many t-shirts, so I would really appreciate if you guys could check that out. Have a fantastic day. We're going to talk to you later. When the Giants come to town, it's bye-bye, baby, every time the chips are